Trade What You See with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, uh, looking good, feeling good. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to look at a chart that our good friend Stan Harley, the Harley stock market letter, showed us last week. Basically, what he did, he took a snapshot from 20 years ago and then moved it forward in time. And you can see by looking at this chart that it really lines up incredibly well with highs and lows. Now, uh-oh, they say there's no chart posted. Now, that should not have happened, but let's try it again. Use the old Italian mathematician here to see if I can get this stuff up here to show it. And hopefully this is it. Ah, there we go. Now you can see it, but it lines up incredibly well. So what we're watching here is to see if this is, in fact, going to be a spot where, if possible, we're going to see a correction uh, of, of major, major magnitude in here. Uh, and hold on just a second. My uh, beeper is going off, and I'm not sure what, oh, something sold off in the stock market here. I don't know what uh, what caused that, but it's going down a bit, which is, uh, I guess if you're short, that should make you happy. Anyway, oh, sorry, sorry boys and girls, I have to, I have to do some, uh, I have to do some, <laughs> Oh, boy. God, I love this business so much. <laughs> Hold on. Let's just get on here for a second here. I, I tried to, to get short the uh, the gold market. I missed it by two bucks, and that's not neither here nor there. But anyway, the stocks are selling, starting to sell off now. Uh, that, that I believe, is, and I posted this in the early part of the show. Uh, this was a perfect last night uh, at around 3 o'clock in the morning when I woke up to talk to the trading gods. And they both, uh, both of them, both the ladies told me that uh, it was uh, time to take a look at the 61% retracement here. Hit it exactly, folks. 33,848. That was a high, not one tick higher. And uh, that was the number. Of course, I did it off this number, so I might have been off by one or two points, but that's still pretty active. And now we're starting to uh, back off a little bit. So whether that means anything, I don't know if there was any news or not. Uh, but if there was any news, someone please uh, alert me to the fact that maybe there was some news coming in. Now, I want to spend some time here uh, in, the, in the banking index, folks, because uh, we've been talking about this banking stuff, you know, for a, uh, you know, quite a while. Now, here is this is the daily chart. I want to get this up here of the one that uh, Jim Bartolioni, who will have on a guest next week. He's busy this week. In fact, there'll be no guests this week. I'll be doing it by myself, except for Friday, when we're going to have Mike Moore on, our Mr. Crude Oil himself. Anyway, this was the 382 on the weekly. You can see the big break, but you can see the fact here that the market had this big reversal. Everything was up on Friday. Everything is down on Monday. That's not a good sign, boys and girls. I'm going to show you a few other of these charts just to get you uh, realize that uh, that's not the way to do it. Here is the same chart now, only in a four-hour format, so you can see what's actually happening. And the fact that this market is not, and I will repeat, is not rallying. You see here? This looks like it's a big island reversal. Well, this island might, might get sunk, and if it does, that's not good. You know, this is uh, this is something that you've got to be able to uh, factor in. We don't we never know what's going to happen next, folks. And you don't need to know what's going to happen next because you can't know what's going to happen next. That's the main thing. So let's take a look at some of these that are important. Now, here is one of the better ones. This is the uh, Andrew Mellon, uh, Mellon's of Pittsburgh. Uh, this is the Mellon Bank. Um, and you'll see even it had a you know, pretty big correction. And we stopped at the 78% level right here. It's bouncing a little bit, which is good. That's one of the better banks, correct? So we want to look at a few of the others to make sure that when we see some of them, that we're able to see what they're doing. Here's one of the – this is an investment bank. I'm sure most of you have heard of it. It's called Goldman Sachs. And as we see here, it's also been hit by the banking index. And, of course, earnings have uh, increased except for trading profits have not. But this basically – the pattern that you have here 
in Goldman Sachs is a perfect 135. There's one at the top. There's three right here, and there's five right there. That's a 135. The symmetry here is perfect, and the rally back on that rally was exactly 61% a few days ago, and now it's starting to give it up. So because people tell you things are going to happen, including me, don't even listen to me. Look at the charts. The one thing about these charts is they can't lie to you. They can hide from you. They can give you misinformation, you know, but they can't, they, they can't hide from you. Because if prices are going up, there's more buyers. If prices are going down, there's more sellers. That's the that's the whole bottom line of uh, what we're doing as we're watching some of these things. Now, here's one of the this bank is probably one of the worst run because it used to they had to they had to do a reverse split to keep it listed. And this is Citibank. You can see a couple months ago uh, back in february it made a 382 retracement and we've been making lower lows ever since this is not a this is not a bullish chart there's not any buying coming into these as of yet they might soon but so far that has not happened you know so here's another one here that i think is <laughs> this is the one that scares me the most <laughs> it's the biggest bank in the country Hold on, boys and girls, the old Bank of Italy. Let's get it up here. There it is right there. You can see big A, B, C, D. Look at this. There was your 382 off of the high. Perfect. Okay, this was three weeks ago when the banking crisis was, uh, you know, happening. And look what's happened. This is not This is not a good good chart for Bank of America. You know, so to me, uh, you know, they're telling us that things are okay and everything is – fixed and hunky dory and i don't think there's hunky and i'm not even sure there's any dory so you got to be uh, pay attention to the charts folks that's a, the bottom line of, of what we try to do when we're looking at things now here's one of my favorite ones because i jim gorman is a stand-up guy in my opinion I was able to meet him many years ago and he's a really well loved by everybody at morgan stanley this one's held up well you can see at the top up here we made a big three drive to a bottom that was three drive to a top. You can see the beautiful A, B, C, D structure uh, to the high. And then we had the 382 retracement here and we had the break and now we're still bouncing. This is, you know, the, if this is a 382, we're looking at a potential A, B, C, D to the downside way in here. And that tells us that uh, mm, not so good. So that's another one. I think I have one more, the best of the best, which is uh, uh, J J P Morgan, and I believe this is it. You'll see this one is this is the best run bank by Jamie Dimon. That's why he gets thirty two million dollars a year, folks. If you make thirty two million dollars a year, you're able to eat out several nights a week without any problem. But look at the beautiful bottom we had here: A, B, C, D. Beautiful three drive. There's drive one. There's drive two. There's drive three. That was back in October when we were bottoming in the S&P and the Dow Jones. We saw that bottom coming and we're able to get a couple bucks out of that. But look how well this stock has acted compared to the others. And guess what? We have to pay a few bills. 877 -927 -6648. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors
TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. C C call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we're back, and I believe we have Jeff from New Jersey back on the line today. Jeff, are you there? I am here, and I have shortened my questions uh, dramatically. <laughs> so okay, these, these will sound simpler <laughs> than last time. Okay. And uh, I have my notes, you know, from what you said, and I'll read them back. Uh, okay. You know, you can tell me if I got it right. Is that how's that? That's that's correct. I posted your okay. chart in the room here, so folks can see it. Okay. All right, so the first question, this is about the three drive pattern. And the first question was, when is the AB leg too long compared to the 1A leg? And the answer uh, that I heard was, when the difference between a 1.618 extension of the AB leg and the actual extension is greater than 300 to $500 using a full-size contract, then you want to pass on the trade. This is correct. Yes, that's what I okay, would. Okay, great. Yes. Uh, and then the second question was, when is the time for the AB leg too different than the CD leg to take the trade? And the answer I got there was to use a visual check, visual cut check. And if you're questioning whether it's symmetrical, then it's not symmetrical enough. And if you think that's it's correct. a close call, then check your risk. And if you can afford the risk, give the pattern a chance. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Complexity Excellent. beats. Yeah, complexity. Simplicity beats complexity. So keep it as simple as possible. That's the way I would do it. Now, I did want to, since, since I've got you back on the line here, I wanted to point out to the folks uh, what I do when, when someone calls in. And, of course, you being a student, it's real easy to c communicate with you. But all I do is I do the same chart that that uh, that uh, you did and then all I'm going to do is to blow this up here and if you'll you'll pay attention to the you've already seen these Jeff but this is for the folks that have not I've done a uh, overlay here you'll notice the really a uh, heavy black marks here uh, these are mine in other words I just went from uh, point 0.1 to point two to point three that's a three drive pattern right here perfectly symmetrical you actually you see it works and then it goes back and makes a little bit slightly higher high. 
to me, that's okay because you know, there's there's your that would have been I would have been at least to break even here. But when I got to here, now I have another A B C D pattern right here. So it's no longer a three drive, but it's still you know very very important. And of course, boom, down she came really really hard. So that that's all I try to do. Now you're you're following forex, which is this is the euro yen, and so you've got to pay attention. And when you're doing a uh, is this a uh, uh, what is this a 15 minute chart, Jeff? Um, yes, that's correct. Yeah, so you've got to be, you know pay attention to that, but that's that's what you're doing. And and when you're doing a 15 minute chart, three hundred dollars is certainly acceptable for any of these large foreign exchange uh, contracts because these are these trades a lot. You know the the euro trades, uh, uh, you know a trillion dollars a day. So that I think you got mm -hmm. I think you got it set up pretty right. So your targets are right. Everything is perfect. You know, I think you did okay. a great job on this. Great, thanks. Hey, um, you want to hear something weird? <laughs> everything um, I hear I've is been... weird. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, everything I say is weird, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, well, uh, everything I say is weird, so go ahead. Oh, uh, well, that's what we have in common. <laughs> okay. So um, I've, I have 10 different uh, metrics or tests or, qual or criteria for the uh, Gartley pattern, uh, to comply with, right? So the ideal pattern will meet these 10 tests. And I've been tracking these for a couple of years now. And in the past, up until maybe a month ago, when the uh, patterns were perfect, they would hit the furthest target. You know, they would go out and, and hit the 0.786 of the um, AD range. Sure. You, know, you know, where other times, like the less perfect the pattern, it wouldn't get it quite as far. Maybe it would get to the 0.618 or just miss it. But lately, uh, it's been just the opposite. The more perfect the pattern or the perfect patterns were failing. And, like, I could send you some, uh, you know, documentation. But over the past month, I'd say the, the better the pattern, meaning the better that it complies with these 10 tests, the more likely it was to fail, which is bizarre. Well, I haven't seen that, so I'd like to see some examples of that, if you don't mind, you know, to let I'd me uh, to. take a look at that, because that would be uh, something that I think I really need to uh, to look at, because I look at a lot of patterns, and, when, and I, when I see really perfect ones fail, I know that they happen. That just means that there's a larger pattern out there that is, uh, that is in control of everything. So I hope that... Well, uh, have you seen uh, over the years where... Uh, um, like say the, the 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 Gartley pattern becomes more or less effective or kind of uh, yes yes I've seen I've, it has periods where it's just absolutely miraculous and then you has other periods when you know it's going to be less than fifty fifty but that's just all the if you did all the Gartleys I believe you're going to be around sixty percent correct and your profit will be uh, two and a half to three to one. But you'll go through periods where they just don't uh, they just don't work because that you've got the overall trend wrong. You see what I mean? And you, you don't know yeah. what that is, so you just have to do them all. Gartley said on page 222 of the book, and he spent a, two full pages describing it, he said that ABCD pattern in the direction of the trend, in other words, buy that retracement where you see an ABCD in a bull market or sell the ABCD in a bear market, that'll get you on the right side most of the time. But, you know, the, the key word there is most, <laughs> not all. <laughs> so well, I've been, um, you know, keeping track of the success rate for the Gartley pattern, and I have over 800 events over the past two years or so. And wow. according, uh, based on all that data, I have a 71% uh, win rate. That's there. There you go. So I, it was around two thirds is what we did. Of course, we did thousands of them when we did the floor traders handbook, but we only we only did the euro on thirty minute charts over a thirty year period. So, but it's a good pattern. And this you is know, everything. This is uh, FX and uh, okay. agriculture commodities and just like every wherever I see the pattern, mm -hmm. you know, I I track it. That's it. And that's it's over a lot of different time frames too. It's from three minutes up to yeah. uh, a day. That's good. Sure. Well, you're doing you're doing the right thing. So keep up the good work. It's a pleasure working with you because you do the work and you're also sharing it with us, Jeff. And sharing it is really important because there's a lot of folks out there that are looking for something that does work, 
And when you can find something like that and people are verifying it, it's a, it's a very important concept to, uh, you know, to remember. Very, very important. So please Thanks. keep the work coming in. I'm just following the golden rule. You know, I, I, I want to hear these things. So, I, you know, if I was somebody else and somebody else knew this information, I would want them to come on and That's relay right. it. You know, so I'm just right. doing the same. Yes, if you know something okay, important well, thank you, Larry. and don't share it, it's worthless. You bet, my friend. Jeff, thank you for calling in, and uh, have a wonderful day. Appreciate your call. Right. Really very helpful to everyone. Mm -hmm. You bet. Okay, take care. Okay, folks, right. you bet. 877-927-6648. We've got a break coming up. We've covered the banking index. When we come back, if you have any questions, it'd be quite helpful. But we're going to go over a few things that I think you'll find interesting. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, bear with me here because we posted a weekly chart on the euro and I wanted to, excuse me, the daily chart on the euro and I wanted to bring the new one up to date. There we are. Uh, this is, uh, you know, you can see this is a uh, intraday chart uh, here uh, on the euro. And uh, basically what we're watching here is a market that has, remember, we were selling this up at 109 and change. We're down at 101. 
110 and change. Now we're at 101, so it's down about a thousand bucks. But what I wanted to point out to you are two important things that someone asked me uh, earlier. Is the fact is that we had this uh, 382 retracement here, uh, usually a very bullish sign. It was bullish. And you can see the market went up and made a new high. This is a recovery high of about 50% from the high. Then we made the three lower tops. Now, this is what Jeff was doing. He was doing three three drive to a top pattern. A one, three, five pattern is just the opposite because you have lower tops, okay? You have higher bottoms. That makes that a triangle. And when it gets to this point right here, this is where your moment of truth is. The market breaks. There's your 382 retracement coming in off the top. And what that would mean is that you have a high probability. And again, a probability of going A, B, C, D leg coming down into this level right here. Now, remember, the foreign exchange markets are open 24 hours a day. Uh, about five and a half days a year or uh, days a week. So they they travel, uh, they cover a lot of time and a lot of money. So that's the main thing. Now, the next one I wanted to mention is one that we did last night because I did bring this to your attention because we like to sell things that are really weak. And uh, this happened to be the dollar versus the Canadian. Uh, the dollar is getting creamed against the Canadian dollar. You can see when you're, you see a chart like this where it says, U.S. dollar Canadian, it means you're long the dollar, short the Canadian. Well, long the dollar here is really getting creamed. You'll notice this is where we were Friday. And I brought this to the attention of the folks here on Sunday night. And I want to show you the reasoning behind the trade because you like to find ones that, you know, give you a little bit of an edge. And if we take a look at this, this is the uh, dollar versus the Canadian. I'm going to bring it up here. This is the uh, hourly chart, and as you can see here, as it's coming down here, you'll watch. There's your 382. You have the really strong bounce, really strong bounce goes up to the 78 percent. Then it makes the one. There's the 135 pattern again. There's the 135 pattern again, and once we break through that, it goes through the 382. It goes through the 50 percent. It goes through the 61% retracement, and here's where we were Sunday night. And and I said, look, it stopped here for a minute, but it, it stayed there for several hours. And I said, if it breaks below there, this is going to be just short it because it's going to go down a lot lower. And it, it's broken another uh, almost uh, a 1000 bucks from that spot right here. Not going any above at all. There was no, no heat because it just kept falling. This is where you're... You catch one of these falling knives, boy, you can make some uh, serious bread. But you got to make sure that, you know, when it hits these numbers, because it could have rallied from here really strong. That could have been a major bottom or maybe a rally a little bit. But once we start going below it again, look what happened every time we went below the 382, the 50 percent, the 61. Why would the 78 percent be any different? And it wasn't. And that's why when it keeps going down, that's why you want to keep looking at it for a potential you know, to the short side. So I hope that gives you some indication of, you know, why we're, we're looking at some of these things uh, here today and uh, going through them one at a time. I did post that chart earlier on the euro, but one other one that we have going on right now, and I'm going to bring this up because this is going to be a live trade, folks. Let's get this up here so the all the sports can sports fans can see it. Let's get the uh, hold it right here 445. We're going to do the first one right here. Here is the uh, chart on the uh, hogs. We just made a nice bundle on the hogs about uh, 1400 bucks last week. We bought the first three drive to a bottom. That was right there. Uh, we got out of it right here and now we've got another one forming. You can see here the A B, C, D pattern comes in right here at uh, 81.92. I had just checked a little while ago. Uh, the alert has not gone off yet, so it's still in that ballpark. And I'm looking to buy it right there. But because of the strength of this down move right here, you see that big down move, which was Friday? Now, the good part is it went a little bit lower, but it didn't collapse. See, sometimes when you have these big down, they just keep collapsing and just like, this one did keeps collapsing so we want to watch that because there's a possibility that could go a lot lower so in a situation like that going back to like what jeff was talking about you know finding out how much you have to risk i go and i do a very simple 
uh, calculations. I go with the expansion numbers. God, I love this stuff. I could do this all day long. In fact, that's what I do do all day long. Anyway, there is your first expansion number. You see it comes right down here to your 1.618. There's your second one. Your 1.618 is way down here, so there's a possibility that we could get there. But we're also going to be watching this really close because we have this A, B, C, D coming in here. The only caveat is this right here, the fact that it was so weak right there. Something might have changed. But if we can get it to stay here for a day or two, you know, just like in that uh, Canadian dollar trade, if it can stay there for a day or two, well, you know your risk is going to be really small here. You're going to be risking less than $400 on this, about $0.90 cents in hogs, because they trade quite a bit, and that would give you a pretty good idea that you'd, you'd want to be able to uh, line that up pretty good. So we will be watching that one in the hogs. I'll be doing a special video on that tonight, uh, quantifying all the numbers, the time, and uh, what we should be looking for for the folks that subscribe to the 24 seven. So that's what we're, that's what we're paying attention to as we look at some of these things. Uh, that market had a break and it snapped back right away. The, the S and P went back up. In fact, uh, just about everything is up on the day now. Uh, S and P uh, still, well, the Dow, the Dow is down just a hair. It looks like the rest of them are, are up a little bit, but not very much to, to, uh, to make too much, uh, down. Well, we actually we got the the Dow Jones is down and also the Russell is down, but the S and P is up four four and a half points, and we're up to twenty seven points here in the what you call it the uh, what you call it uh, the the interesting one, folks, was the gold. We had a beautiful three eight two pattern setting up at the gold at uh, twenty thirty eight, and it got to twenty thirty seven, and it didn't get filled, but uh, it was a perfect three eight two. It's now ten dollars under that, but. Uh, that'll be uh, trade another day. We've we missed that one. Can't get them all. Oh, uh, that's for absolute sure. I think I covered all of those banks that I wanted to make sure uh, that I could cover because it's uh, it's. Oh, I had one other one. This one here. This is the uh, the one that uh, Mr. Uh, Jamie Diamond was kind enough to take over. I hope they don't lose too much money on this. This is the federal uh, federal bank of Los Angeles. But anyway, I think they bought it for a dollar eighty-seven or something like that, or they took it over, and I don't even know if it's um, well, it's not even trading anymore, I guess. But the last trade that I saw there was uh, three dollars and a half, and I had saw the low on that day was about uh, shucks, I forget what the heck it was. It must have been about a dollar eleven or something like that. So that's another one that we're paying close attention to we got a break coming up here we'll be right back 877-927-6648 Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years 
years' experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, by way of programming, uh, Mike Moore, Moore Analytics, will be on the show Friday. Uh, and also uh, next Monday uh, or Tuesday, I'm not, it'll be one of those two days, uh, Bill Meridian will be on the, the show from Cycles Research out of uh, Austria. However, he's back in the Big Apple. And so we'll have him on as a show. He's just done a special program for the Foundation for the Study of Cycles called the Coming Panic Cycle. I think you'll uh, you'll think you'll enjoy it, and uh, we always enjoy what he has for his charts because he does such a great uh, great job. Now let's talk a little bit here about the uh, crude oil complex, heating oil, gasoline, and also crude oil. You'll notice here this is the long term weekly in uh, uh, heating oil, and we hit the exact number here on Thursday. If you remember, we had Mike Moore saying we were probably getting ready to break down, and boy, we certainly did. And we had crude oil one day, it dropped from 68 to 64 in a heartbeat, but then it bounced back. But let's let's just take a look at what happened to heating oil after it made the bottom. We're always ha hammering about the 382 retracement on these things. So as we take a look at this, you'll see that uh, we went right down Hit the exact 382 right here, folks. That was the 382, and then we had the rally, went right after that level, then it started to back off a little bit. So this is still acting extremely bullish today, and we've already showed you in the other part of the show that the uh, crude oil already went up and made a double uh, 382 retracement and got us up to that 38 uh, chain. Oh, here it is right here. Let's just let's just show you. Uh, what it did do because it's still acting extremely bullish and then we'll switch our gauge over to the Dow Jones and show you what's happening there you can see there was your first 382 retracement here in crude there was your second one there was your one last night and we hit it today again uh, right there so it was really uh, three in a row telling you we are going to go higher there was your profit objective up here we broke about a buck and a half and now we're back up near the highs again, telling us that we're most probably getting to get getting ready to go uh, a lot higher uh, in the uh, in the crude oil. Now, heating oil is looking exactly the same as the uh, crude oil. Uh, also, the gasoline I'm going to bring it up has been the strongest because the bottoms here have held up uh, at a higher level, and I'll tell you with gasoline at 550 a gallon here in Tucson. It's a big surprise, especially with people that go to the market and check out with $800 for food, and then they got to pay $60, $70 to fill up their gas. That's quite a bit. Anyway, that's what we're seeing in this area right here. Uh, it's held a pretty good rally here. Now, it did exactly the same thing. Remember that 382 that we talked about? We did the same thing here with the uh, 
with the uh, gasoline, and I hope this is it right here. There's the gasoline. I want to show you this is the same situation where you go up and uh, get this up here so you'll be able to see it easy enough. So when a big market is made a high or a low, first thing you want to do is to watch for the 382 retracement. That's from this low to this high. The 382 retracement comes in here. That leads up to the big ABCD up in here. And now we're ready for a correction, but it might just keep going, folks. We really don't know because this thing has come off of a major bottom and has fooled a very, very lot of people as we uh, unfold looking at uh, some of these other charts. I want to show you on a personal note what I have to deal with here every day here in Tucson, Arizona. This is uh, not the tree in front of my house, but the one that's there everywhere. And these things are, this is called the Palo Verde tree, which means a green green stick is what it means. Palo Verde means green stick. But this is the blooming that we have all during um, April, May, and June. And, um, well, actually, the third week in May, it's all gone. But these, these flowers are the ones that are difficult. But the one that you're looking at right here, the one right behind the house here, is about twice as big and much thicker. But they're absolutely gorgeous. The problem is if you have an allergy, it does get to you a little bit. But today's a much better day for some reason, even though it's pretty – it's not as hot as it usually was here. We had 92 the other day. It's about 84 today, so it's a much easier one. But this is the one that, that gives me the, the biggest problem as we're looking at some of these things here today. Now, I had one other chart that I thought was very, very important that I wanted to share Ah, this is the one. This is the this is the long-term weekly euro, folks. I showed you the other part of the euro, but this is the one that you got to pay close attention to, because uh, we have held up relatively well here. We backed off about a thousand bucks from the 61% retracement here right now. But boy, if we ever get above this level right here now, after a th uh, two-day pullback, oh dear, you you could uh, this could go a long way. So. This gets above here. You'll be seeing it in all the markets: gold, <clears throat> silver, all the others. will be doing the same type of a thing, uh, showing you which of these things are are going. Okay, I have another request. Someone asked something about another commodity, and if you'll bear with me here, I'll get it up. Since we were talking about the hogs, we also want to talk about the cows. And uh, dear, dear, here it is, right here. And you'll see here. We've had a pretty big break now in hogs. We had that big ABCD three drive pattern. Uh, actually, that's a five wave expanding wave. There's wave one, wave two, wave three, wave four, wave five. That's expanding triangle. It also is a three drive to a top pattern. And then we had the 382 retracement here on Thursday. And that led to the weakness that we're seeing today that it's still moving uh, down in that direction. So I hope those in, those things are helpful to you uh, as we as we look at them. You know, sometimes uh, I can't do all of them, but I try to do as many as I can, even if it's just for educational purposes. I think when you take the time and send questions in like what Jeff did, I mean, he, he's done an incredible job building his own uh, his own program. Now he has confidence in it. He knows that he's going to be right about seven out of ten times. Show me a baseball player that hits 710. He'd be making $75 trillion a year, for heaven's sakes. They hit 350, they get 40, 50 million dollars. So at 70, even at 51%, he's going to do great because his payoff is going to be two and a half or three to one to each loss. That's, that's what the Gartley's all about. It puts odds. You know, puts the odds in your favor, and that's a that's a big deal. You want to be able to do that. And we had one other question, and that's somewhat. Well, we haven't done this one in a long time, but that's about coffee. And let's get it up here, see what Joe's doing because it looks like we're started up on Friday, and uh, we sent this out on Sunday. I don't know what it's doing today, but like most commodities, it's probably up a bit. But we made a perfect 61% retracement here on coffee right on Friday, so it's acting pretty good. So that's all you got to remember, that that's what you're looking at. So pay close attention to it. You'll be right on the money. 
That's what I'm seeing. Whether that means anything or not, I don't know, but I'm just looking. You had a beautiful 61% retracement here. That one worked really good. Remember this one here I thought was going to be the, uh, the trade of the year? And uh, it went a little bit lower, and then look at it. At least we didn't lose anything on it. Hey, 877-927-6648. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. Okay, folks, I uh, started the show with this uh, chart, which is the Dow Jones. We made the 61% retracement. Had a break of about 300 points. We've rallied back uh, about half that way already today. But if we close above that 34,348, folks, that's extremely bullish. And if you'll notice there on the bottom of the chart, there at the green level where it says uh, 33,532, that's the 382 retracement. So we almost made that on that little break, whatever the news was, but it snapped back really quickly. So the market's coming back uh, strongly. It might end up strong. We don't know yet. But anyway, if it gets above that 34,848, uh, uh, 34, 33,848, that would be a very, very bullish sign. So keep that in mind. We'll be covering that more. Uh, on the shows tomorrow, plus we'll be following the currencies a little closer. We got to uh, 
big break here in this Canadian dollar. The euro is working good. So we want to keep these things uh, in our uh, in our quiver for our, you know, to make sure that our our arrows are pointed in the right direction because we want to be able to, uh, if you take a trade, you've got to be able to follow through with it because, you know, if you don't and don't handle your losses, you're in big trouble. And that's where the problem, that having a loss is no problem. The first loss teaches, the second loss kills. And that's why you want to take a lesson from what Jeff showed you today, folks. I mean, he's built a, uh, just a nice little Gartley patterns that work well for him. He's using a 15-minute chart. They work on any time frame, as we know. You build the rules the way you want. Once you have confidence in those rules, it's game on. And that's what you want to have happen. So let's remind ourselves that. It's very, very important to do that. Trading is a journey. It's not a destination. You're going to make mistakes all along the way. And when you think you stop making mistakes, you're going to make a bundle of them right in a way that you'll be paid attention to by the trading gods. And she doesn't like to be fooled. So see you tomorrow, folks. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. Bye.